everyone today we are going to discuss follow up questions so in this class we are going to cover follow up questions of few latest cue cards all right first question is what did you do to entertain yourself uh, entertainment helps us to regain our energy and to just uh, regenerate yourself uh, we should try to entertain ourselves often so uh, sometimes when i'm feeling uh, tired or bored i try to watch my uh, some favorite web series or try to pamper myself having a, a good spa uh, good hair spa body spa by taking that so this is the way i entertain myself do you often buy things that you don't need later no i usually uh... uh try to be very conscious about the things that i need then only i buy otherwise i am not in that kind of person who try love to waste money on something that is not required because it will be um it will be my own wastage of money so i don't prefer things buying that i don't need how should people decide on buying what they need priyanka people should focus on those things which are necessary to them and after going to the shopping mall or in any or in any market part they should get But first, they should very carefully look after the product, and then they should look after the price. Because some people they just buy very commodities which are very high in cost, but they should not do it. So I think it's they should focus on the product, and then and then they should look after the price, and after that they should buy the things. Okay. Do you think marketing plays a role in buying branded products? Emma Yes ma'am marketing plays major plays major role uh, major role and uh, it gives a lot company gives a lots of money for the advertisement uh, advertisement on uh, on a television when people see the advertisement uh, people people are more at people were more attractive to so the advertisement so marketing play the major role buying the branded product So Kavinder same question do you think marketing plays a role in buying branded products yes i definitely think the market play very important role to buying a branded product mm -hmm. they show some advertisements mm -hmm. due to this advertisement customer easily attracted branded clothes attracted or attract attract customer attracts towards the branded cloth because of their strong marketing fine yes of course how do we come to know about branded products when we see the advertisement or the marketing done by the product and sometime when they launch they offer they give offers and all so that's why people end up buying the product okay Okay next topic is describe a town city you would like to live The follow up questions are do you think one day you will live there Hema Whatever city you are talking about you have to tell uh, do you think one day you will live there Yes ma'am I why do you think so because there um, there were there there is so many facilities so i would uh, i would like to think about uh, i live in there okay lavina why do people want to live in cities uh, almost everybody wants to live in the city uh, in the urban area because there uh, are very great uh, employment opportunities and uh, these days uh, young generation are fascinated towards the mall shopping complexes and uh, and the good infrastructure uh, large buildings so everybody uh, these days young especially the young generation wants to move to the cities and want to live there what are the disadvantages of living in a city nancy there can be various advantages of living in a city firstly it can be very deafening and there can be a pollution which can lead to some health issues like heart problems and um, skin problems or other uh, hypertension problems and uh, people stay very busy in the cities because they get uh, they get busy with their jobs and they are not aware of their fam uh, no not they are aware of the uh, needs but um, 
it makes the people very busy in a, living in a city because uh, they have lots of activities to do. And as a result, sometimes they forget about the duties and responsibilities that they have towards their family. Do you think that all cities are the same, Priyankar? No, I don't think all the cities are the same. For example, consider about consider Delhi and Kolkata. So these cities are very much overpopulated, and as a result, there is the pollution in, in these two cities are extremely higher. But in case of Jaipur, Jaipur is a very wonderful city, and also the pollution level is comparatively lower than that of these two cities. So yes, not all the cities are same. How can we build cities that are environmental friendly? or environmentally friendly. Uh, Hema, environment-friendly cities, what are they and how can we build it? We can build a city uh, uh, environmental, environmentally friendly, uh, like uh, save the environment, uh, uh, proper growth uh, plant, uh, and um, everyone take care of the environment, uh, like uh, less pollution. No problem. Lavina, same question. Uh, okay, um, these days uh, we have to, uh, uh, these days uh, we, ha we should create environmental friendly uh, cities because as pollution is increasing day by day and this causes a, a very a high rate of diseases to everybody, even to the young generation. So we can create uh, by uh, create environment friendly by planting more and more trees so that there should be everywhere flora and fauna should be there and we should also take care of uh, plastic bags as uh, this is the major uh, major reason uh, our animals uh, are eating the plastic bags and this causes a uh, very serious effect to them so we should avoid using the plastic bags we should instead we should use the juice bags so I guess uh, we should take care of these things and we can create environmental friendly building that's the all right now we are doing a follow-up talk about a situation where you saw many people smiling. Okay, what makes people smile? Sukhvinda. There are so many reasons people make smiling. First of all, when they meet their friends and relatives, that time mostly people were smiling. Secondly, when, when they do that activity which make them happy, sometimes people were happy when they uh, remind uh, something uh, like past memory. Same question, Nancy. There can be a plethora region, uh, reason why people smile. They can uh, smile think uh, by feeling nostalgic, uh, by looking at the old pictures or thinking of their friends' uh, school time memories. At the same time, people smile by looking at televisions, whether watching a cartoon or whether watching a comedy movies, and sometimes talking with their siblings, talking with their children, anything that uh, gives them a feeling of relax and uh, bring joys to their uh, life or their meanings and that makes them uh, that makes people smile okay and you said children it is children, oh, children. okay yes ma'am do you think women smile more than men hey ma no ma'am i don't think so because uh, they both are they both are achieved the same uh, same position and a uh, woman smile and uh, because a woman smile every every person uh, uh, what do they what do they don't uh, but women smile every person but sometimes men are smile when they are uh, when they are known the person know the person and more comfortable the situation so they both are the they both are the smile. Davina, same question. Uh, I guess everybody should smile because it uh, it is uh, an expression which makes you uh, happy from inside, and uh, I guess happy uh, smile brings uh, and positivity in the environment as well. So uh, I guess in my opinion, women uh, smile more than men uh, because uh, women. Uh, uh, a women smile on the smallest thing as someone has complimented them uh, they will uh, they will smile and even if someone say your food is good or you, they just make a uh, bake a good cake they'll smile so i guess women smile more often than the men yeah hema she has also answered same but in proper way doesn't mean that we are smiling at everybody but yes we do smile more fine because we are very, you can say, conscious and we know that we look better when we smile. <laughs> okay, why do people smile when they have their photos taken? Priyankar. Well, I don't think that people smile after their photo being captured. 
Hmm. Yes, I I find some people are smiling after their photo taken, but I think it is the natural tendency to smile in any in any sort of smile. But but there is no specific reason to smile after their photo being taken. Do you think it is better to hide your real feelings? No, I don't think it is not. I don't think that it is better to hide your real real feelings because if we hide our feelings and if we don't try to reveal it so after so in some days we may get depressed and we may even think of committing dangerous things in some way if we if we can express ourselves to, to the outside people so it is always necessary to express our real feelings to someone okay do you think people like person more if they don't show real feelings it does, it does not depend upon the it does not depend upon whether he is hiding or expressing his feelings the people generally like the person according to his disposition according to his disposition his politeness his behavior his attitude so these are the factors which attract other people to himself or herself so there is nothing to do with hiding their real feelings okay nancy same question do you think people like a person more if they don't show real feelings um no uh, i don't think so uh, a person will like uh, him or her more uh, if they will uh, if that is a beneficial for the short term of period like if you are going for some professional meeting that is okay if you are hiding your real feelings because you are on professional meeting and uh, something that is not required to show your uh, true feelings but yes if someone is uh, close to your some uh, in your family you should definitely show your uh, real feelings either you are happy or sad or whatever mood in you are so that uh, it makes you feel relaxed and less burdened uh, less burdened when uh, when you are showing your real feelings to your loved ones all right next follow up questions are related to this topic talk about an occasion when you persuaded someone to do or not to do something okay question is important is it to persuade someone nancy Uh, it is very important that we should guide somebody to be on the right path because it helps them to choose the right decision it helps them to take the right decisions and at the same time the person is able to uh, think of the long term uh, goals so that they uh, he or she can move uh, and take a proper decision so that in the future he or she doesn't regret about his decision and guidance is always required whether from a younger one or a elder one because without guidance some Sometimes we may get lost, and we may get puzzled. But don't know what should we should do in the futures or regarding any other plans. Nancy, so can a person okay. learn to be persuasive? I think uh, yes, a person can be if a person is extrovert and has the capability to convince and express uh, more effectively and little amiable or exuberant. I think these people can. Uh, Uh, can be more uh, can be a greater influence for others and can help the others to uh, take right decisions is there a possibility that being persuasive leads to negative consequences priyanka when sometimes it may lead to some negativity because when we are persuading someone we should be aware about the results for for the thing which are for the thing we are pers- we are <coughs> Persuading someone, so first we must be we must be very certainly aware of the results of the thing. Then we should persuade someone. Other otherwise, it will lead to some negative consequences. Davina, yes, of course, there is a possibility of negative consequences because uh, sometimes when person uh, when the other person is persuading the uh, persuading the even the loved one or the family member or anyone in the society uh, it can lead to the negative consequences we sometimes we don't know the intention of that person and uh, we just thought yes he is our well wisher he will guide us uh, he'll guide us according uh, according to our will uh, according to the situation or some uh, according to the situation or for our uh, uh for our few, for to make our future bright but uh, sometimes uh, things will go opposite uh, opposite direction or we don't know what uh, what exactly he wants or on on what basis he is uh, he is pursuing us so it can lead to the negative consequences as well reena how can an employer persuade employees to work better employer uh, can persuade uh, their employees uh, about work 
the employer should uh, take a, a meetings follow up meetings uh, time to time so that so that uh, employee can uh, employer can uh, persuade uh, their workers and uh, uh, yes same question nancy <laughs> Yes, uh, employer can uh, persuade employees to work better by appreciating their hard work, by giving them, uh, um, by making them assured that they are doing their great work and must encourage them to do their better work and bring up their talent that they can use so that they can utilize their talent in the better way for the better productivity work in the in the factory or wherever they are working and definitely by acknowledging their um, hard work in front of the other members uh, other employees and other uh, members of the offices okay same question priyankar how can an employer persuade employees to work better an employer has a very can have a big influence upon employee he can persuade the employee by providing him incentives as well as he can become more friendly and, and he can instruct the employees how to uh, smoothly carry out their tasks and besides that he should conduct thorough he should also supervise the employee on a daily basis and if they sometimes commit some mistakes they the employer should not <coughs> scold them instead they should make understand where the, where they have committed the mistakes and how to rectify them will this kind of attitude by the by the employer may help to guys employer can persuade employees to work better by giving them motivation by giving them some kind of incentive oh, appreciation oh, so that is also kind of persuading someone okay incentive appreciation giving them award certification is money the most important factor to do so incentives we have already talked about so you can say it can be but not for all employees some employees they don't only they don't only want money they want appreciation as well as award also recognition to their work okay what other factors can be helpful ravina other than money uh, i guess uh, the most important factor to uh, pursue an employer is the recognition and the appreciation for the work which they have, which they have done and it should not be uh, on the mere or someone personal a uh, personal level you are doing it should be uh, if the employer is working on a uh, work for the whole team uh, and for the company it should be on the company level we should appreciate the person or uh, if, or give him the recognition so that he, he feel he encouraged and motivated as well to work more harder for the organization and for himself okay what <laughs> other factors can be helpful nancy um uh by giving them a holidays during weekdays or one month not one month holiday maybe one week holidays and by giving tickets or like tourist tickets so that they can enjoy with their family and if possible a small token of love in the way of uh, giving a scholarship or the encouraging the employer to uh, pursue the higher studies if possible yeah so kvindar do you think praising is a good way to encourage employees yes i definitely think uh, praising is a good way to encourage employees mm -hmm. when the employer uh, praising their uh, employees they can work more as compared before that and boost up their confidence level okay not bad rinal yes i believe that it is good to appreciate employees in front of other employees because uh, it improves their uh, self confidence and uh, work efficiency they feel proud of uh, they feel proud and uh, they put their heart and soul to work more hard and uh, it also improves the economy of the company good yes ma'am it's a good way uh, to praise the employee uh it makes the employee uh, as a, it works as a uh, booster you can say it boosts the confidence among employees they work more better or uh, you know their productivity improves hai na if they get the praise from their employers that also in front of everyone okay next topic yeah. is describe a city that you want to visit and uh, the discussion questions are what makes people visit places nancy 
uh, as I uh, there can be plethora reason that makes the people visit a places. It can be the historical background. It can be the landscape of that place, the environment, the hospitality of the people living over there, and some cultural and traditions uh, that uh, uh, that leave an eminent mark on the people's mind when they are reading in the newspaper or magazine that attracts the tourist or the other visitors to visit that place. Do you think in the future people will live in different locations such as under the sea or on the moon? Well, I think that people may live under the sea or in the moon if the places, if the earth is overpopulated by the people. If they had no other option to survive in this planet, then people will think about going outside of the world. Otherwise, I don't think that people will love to go to another planet because the common people, they don't think about a certain extent and they generally Think behind, think beyond going to another planet. So it's difficult for them to think like that way. Do you think big cities affect the environment around them? Renal. Yes, I believe that uh, big cities, uh, big cities face a huge amount of uh, pollution because uh, the population of big cities, uh, the population of big cities. Uh, is high and uh, most of the people uh, like to live in, in like to live in big cities due to uh, it pro big cities provide good uh, transportation uh, health care and education facilities therefore uh, most of the people travel by uh, private vehicles every day and uh, therefore uh, uh, vehicles ex uh, vehicles a huge amount of vehicles exist uh, exhaust carbon dioxide and monoxide into the air and uh, all these cause global warming same question priyanka do you think that big cities affect the environment around them yes big cities have so many drawbacks because in big cities the population is huge and as a result there are more private vehicles in the road and there is and in and in most of the days there is huge traffic congestion and as a result there is more emission of toxic gases in the atmosphere and as a result the air is getting polluted and apart from that in 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 big cities there are very less amount of trees and as a result the fresh oxygen the level of fresh oxygen oxygen in, in this area is falling and also, there is very bad way of disposing the garbages in those cities. So, all these factors affect the environment in a negative way. All right. Next topic is talk about a time when you got lost in a town or city and the follow-ups are yeah. kinds of transportation do people do prefer? It depends on person to person. Mm -hmm. Some people prefer to public transport and mm -hmm. other people prefer to on vehicle okay public and private combination of both okay good what else well people generally prefer to have in those kinds of vehicles through which they can reach their destination within a very short period of time and also they think after the fare of the transport so these are the two main factors of choosing the <coughs> vehicles carefully and in most of the times people generally avail the public transport because they have low they have comparatively lower fares compared to the private vehicles Okay, Lavina, was transportation better in the past? Uh, I guess uh, no, uh, transportation is better nowadays because everybody is having their private uh, vehicle. So uh, in the previous times or a few years back, uh, almost one family has uh, one car. Uh, and uh, that's not a necessary when the middle class person is uh, sometimes uh, it's very difficult to have them one car. But nowadays, young generation have their own vehicle, be it a two-wheeler or the four-wheeler. So yes, transportation is better these days than the previous years. Very good. Is a proper road system necessary, Lavina? Uh, yes, uh, it is very necessary. Uh, if I'll talk about India, the road system is very poor as uh, we see the patches, uh, uh, digs and patches everywhere on the roads as people don't maintain, uh, don't maintain. Government is trying to uh, help, uh, help by filling the roads and uh, keeping it uh, clean, but people uh, here because of overpopulation, people don't listen to the government, and sometimes we face a uh, very, uh, very bad accident because of road. So that is a very important thing if we want to avoid the uh, road accident or any kind of tragedy that happens on the road. So a proper road should be there. 
Very good. Very good, Lavina. Yes, Nancy, same question. Was transportation better in the past? Uh, compare, if I have to compare the uh, transport, uh, transportation uh, with the past and the present, I will say nowadays the transportation has improved a lot, thinking of, uh, of the necessity of the publics, like nowadays we also have AC trains and AC metros, AC buses, which really have made it comfortable for the people to travel to long distance. And at the same time, the fare has been a little bit uh, 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 like uh, the, the buses that, that doesn't have ACs, they have maintained their fare so that it is affordable for everyone even for the low class people or even for the rich people so that they can travel and then uber facilities are there ola facilities uh, that really has helped All a right. lot to renal is a proper road system necessary yes i believe that uh, proper uh, proper road system is necessary because uh, many people travel by uh, many people prefer road transportation every day in, uh, sometimes due to bad uh, bad condition of road people are not able to reach their destination uh, in time hema will give the answer what kind of decisions do people make in their lives people make the decisions uh, make the decisions of uh, what they uh, they want to live in a this place like uh, uh, there were proper education system and uh, further facility and the good people area people like to live in that place so people like a uh, decision in a uh, make their lives question is what kind of decision do people make in their lives lavina decisions plays a very important role in in a person's life be it either a professional decision or any kind of personal decision it all depends on the what situation they are in sometimes they are in uh, sometimes they are in that situation they had to make first uh, hard decisions which affect everybody's but they know that, uh, that will help them in future so i guess our uh, decisions plays a very important role uh, in everybody's life i am asking what kind of decision people make okay in daily life what kind of decision we make lavina before you leave uh, uh, yes uh, uh, decision addition can be of any kind be it a small or large sometimes uh, be, me being as a woman i have to take some time decision okay what we are going to cook in the lunch or in the dinner or sometimes okay either i should buy this clothes on online or i should go offline and check the stores so these kind of decisions are taken on our daily basis um, so i guess uh, uh, very good and the big decision we take about our marriage career yes okay <laughs> Whether yes. we should migrate to other country or city or not, fine. Yes. All right. Nancy, is culture yes. an important factor that affects decision making? Yes, sometimes the cultures really play an indispensable role in our in uh, making decisions sometimes because of the cultures people like to stay back and they are unable to expose uh, or they are unable to achieve their dreams as well because somewhere they feel they are bound with their cultures and traditions and they have to follow also the rules and regulations of the families because sometimes we live in a family where they are not that uh, they are not that extrovert so making decision becomes yes. little difficult or i can say hard Thank you. Same question, Priyankar. Is culture an important factor that affects decision making? Yes, culture has a very big role in making our decisions. So, if we think of going to some places or if we think of settling in some places, we generally think about the culture in that area. And if it is not compatible with our indigenous culture, we generally don't prefer to you know, settle there. And of course, if and there are some other cases, if we think of marrying someone which who do, who don't belong to our own culture then we generally we generally are in a dilemma whether to whether to proceed in this relationship or not so yes so in this way the culture plays a very big role in making our decisions and there are several other cases there are several other cases when also culture, culture is a big factor next okay. topic is describe an activity near sea you would like to try guys follow ups of this how would you feel about this activity because it's you would like to try once you have done this activity how would you feel about this activity yes parvinder for example you want to try beach volleyball uh, like after doing that how would you feel i would like to go for scooby doo uh, if i'm not uh, oh, 
is the word i use properly scooby do i think so since uh, um, i definitely i feel very happy because it is one of the best activity that i always wanted to do because i have in, i got influenced looking at the televisions that how people go under water and try to explore the underwater world the aquatic creatures and aquatic animals so definitely if i get a chance to do this activity i will be feel very happy and get, try to get some knowledge so that i can enhance my uh, knowledge why do people go to the seaside sukhvinder there are so many reasons people uh, go on seaside first of all some people have a hobby uh, go on the seaside uh, secondly some people spend uh, their uh, weekends and uh, holidays that time they do different types of activity which uh, make uh, them happy what benefits do they get from it hema people when uh, at the, nowadays the people are busy from a daily schedule uh, so they tired uh, tired in a daily routine so oh, the, uh, when they 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 can go in a when uh, they can so when they uh, they can go in a uh, uh, go uh, a Uh, at this time uh, they uh, feel uh, relax refresh and recharge so it is a great benefit question is what benefit do they get from it why go, uh, going on sea side of course they get yes nancy yes yes ma'am they get a chance to see the sunrise and the sunset at the same time the local shop that's are available over there they get a chance to buy local things that are available over there even the availability of fish fry uh, varieties uh, multifarious fish varieties shops those so that they can eat uh, those fish uh, items that are not available in the markets uh, where they do live so going to the sea beach sites um, uh, those fish yeah, markets gives a yeah. choice uh, do you think they can relax when they go to beach and how hema as i told you ma'am uh, people are busy in a daily schedule so when they they are go to the beach uh, they they are free from the worries and uh, also they can feel the relax uh, at the daily schedule okay when they are going when they go to they take okay ma'am yes they can relax by doing various activities okay okay parvinda do you think children enjoy going to the beach uh, yes ma'am younger people like uh, uh... Uh, and new water sports uh, more than older people um, um, because uh, 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 younger uh, 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 yeah priyanka uh, please complete it younger people like to have more thrill in their lives and <coughs> this water sports causes adrenaline rush in them so these younger people they like they mostly prefer prefer to <coughs> experience those kinds of sports which <coughs> have very much thrill in itself but the older people they fear to do this kind of activities because they, they think that something bad may happen after experiencing yes. young yeah youngster they like adventure more okay do you think children enjoy going to the beach renal yes i believe that children like going to the beach because uh, they can enjoy the beauty of the nature and uh, they get the opportunity to play in sand also they can enjoy uh, several activities such as boating and horse riding all right nancy how can humans save the environment from global warming the best way to save uh, environment from global warming the pe the people should first have the knowledge proper knowledge of, about the reasons and gather more information that what are the reason for the global warming once a human being are aware of the reasons i think they will start working on reducing uh, of uh, um, of reducing the um, reasons for the global warming so that they can take proper steps in order to avoid increase uh, uh, in order to avoid or save the earth from the global warming Do you think animals are affected by global warming? Uh, yes, animals are equally affected by the global warming because they don't have a proper shelter like how the human beings are, and they are more exposed to the environment. So definitely, they have health issues like skin problems, breathing problems. So like human being, animals affect. Uh, I feel that animals affects. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, animals are more affected than the human beings. Priyanka, last question. how can people help save marine ecology from the environmental crisis 
well people should make some particular spaces particular space for disposing the gar disposing the garbage materials and Very also good. and also the industrial waste that directly goes to the river and sea they, that should not directly go to the river and sea first they should be filtered and then they should be left they should be released into the river and sea and also the industry should limit their use of toxic toxic chemicals and also and also the people should limit their use of fossil fuels and instead they should use the yes biosustainable yeah. and yes even the noise of boats and you can say uh, polluting the sea these are affecting the marine ecology so we must be careful about that and people can help by doing uh, their bit they should not throw pollution and industrial waste should not be you can say discharge in the sea okay yes. this is all for today everyone see you on monday bye bye